news source. This is Fox 4 News at 6. Officials in Central Florida say a large sinkhole that swallowed two homes earlier today is still active and neighboring homes are still being evacuated as a precaution. A very scary scene now raising some concerns that something like this could happen in Southwest Florida. Four in your corners, Tony Sidiku speaking with a local expert about this threat and what you should know as a Florida resident. Tony, what'd you find out? Amy, I found out the bad news is anywhere you live in Florida, you are vulnerable to sinkholes. But the good news is in Southwest Florida, I'm told they're less frequent and less dangerous. Two homes destroyed. Many others could be in jeopardy after a massive sinkhole opens up in Central Florida. As we see encroachment towards this lake, we are uh, expecting it to continue to grow. Already 200 feet wide and 50 feet deep, officials say the threat isn't over for neighboring homes. One thing that's amazing is the rate that it keeps growing because it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger uh, over a very short period of time. Dr. Jamie McDonald is an associate professor of geology at Florida Gulf Coast University. He says sinkholes like the one in Lando Lakes aren't a rare event in the state. I mean sinkholes form anywhere in the state of Florida because everywhere in the state of Florida we have limestone. Dr. McDonald says this is a piece of limestone, kind of like what you would find anywhere under Lee County. When I put a little bit of acidic water, you can see what happens. It starts to dissolve the limestone, and this is what happens when water slowly starts to dissolve limestone to form a sinkhole. There are probably hundreds of circles on the map. And then if we go just south of there in Tampa, you see there's, there's even more because that's an area that's very, very susceptible to sinkholes. In Lee County, the threat isn't as severe. And so look, one, two, three, four, five, 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 we got five. A much smaller risk in Southwest Florida, but one Dr. McDonald says residents should still pay attention to. We're fortunate that we live in a part of the state where sinkholes exist and we have to be concerned about them, but, but they, they're not as dangerous as, as say the one in Lando Lakes that occurred today. And Dr. McDonald advises that if you believe a sinkhole, a sinkhole is threatening your home, you should contact your insurance company or have an engineer survey your property. Live in the studio, Tony Siddiqui, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you. Good information.